everybody. This is Cleveland in the kitchen. It is a lovely day. It is a Friday, and that's why we're doing a little happy hour. So um, we're, we're having some fun with some rum. Yes. So I'd, I wanted to show the versatility of rum. Okay. So I, you've made me a lot of old fashions uh, during our friendship. We've been friends for a while now. Yes. Uh, one, your old fashioned is one of my favorite. But you're, you're mixing this up. There's there's no bourbon involved in this one. We're doing it with rum. No, and we're uh, no bourbon. Uh, we're using an eight-year aged rum. So this is sugarcane spirit aged in Puerto Rico, and then they sit in the barrel down for it. So, and you had a couple of, did you have two or one ice uh, sugar cube down there? Just just one, and just then one. I, uh, two dashes of Angostura bitters. Okay. And what's cool is, so how much do you, would you normally pay for an eight-year-old bourbon? Ooh. Something um, you really like. Something that I really liked, and it was eight years old. I mean, we're looking at getting them pretty close to a hundy. Yeah. Oh, it's twenty-three dollars. Twenty-three dollars. That's an eight-year. Let me give a give a nose to this. It's, it's it smells real nice. And it's sugar cane, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, rum's rum's produced from, from okay. sugar. And uh, I have never had an old-fashioned made out of rum. Oh, well, today's the day, my friend. Yes, it is. It's a Friday after Halloween. Why not, right? Why not? Why not? Why not splurge? Did you Did you go trick or treat? Um, no, I did not. Um, and the girls, they I'll tell you something. My girls, uh, they went out and they did a little bit, and then they were like, Dad, we're over it. Or it's a little too Literally out. this morning, the girls say to me, um, Dad, um, we don't want to do Halloween next year. And I said, well, well, we'll see what happens. What am I going to do with year. all this candy? I know. Yeah. So, so there you go. Uh, what are we making now? Second cocktail. Uh, this is from 1941. It's called an airmail. So honey syrup, which is just equal parts water and honey. And then time out. White rum. That's good. Is it great? That's really good. I'm okay, good. go ahead. Okay. Uh, so then we're just using the Bacardi Silver. Now you can do the classic, um, the Cuba Libra, where it's Bacardi and Coke. You can do um, the mojitos. You can put in an eggnog. You can do. I just there's so rum is so versatile. Versatile and delicious. That I'm telling you, this is I. This is a really good old fashioned. Yeah, it's a, you know people have been making them with an anejo tequila, and it's just the old fashioned is it just but needs the barrel. Do you feel like we're going through one of those resurgence with these really high end spirits, these really good drinks, um, where people are just kind of getting getting creative and going outside of the box? Well, rosé champagne. So you put rosé on top of that? Yeah, just some bubbles. So then you got a little honeycomb, a little lime. Give that a shot. I don't mind if I do, sir. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that is really good. What would what advice would you give somebody who's wanting? You're obviously a professional. You're our, our resident bartender. You're always coming in and making us stuff. And you always bring such good stuff. What would you what would you advise somebody who's trying to get in and kind of expand their horizons a little bit and start making drinks at home? I invest in fresh juice. Really? If it says, don't buy the bottle mm -hmm. lime or lemon, so start there, um, make some syrups. Like I was about the to honey say, you syrup, always make syrup. your own syrup. So what was the syrup that you made right here? That's honey syrup. So what did you do? It's just honey and water. And you just boil it down? Yeah, and you can make cinnamon syrup, you can make all kinds of things. So, and that adds so many layers of complexity and flavor to your drink. Rich Fleetwood, I'm telling you, you are a wise man, and we always appreciate it. We love to see you, especially on Fridays, because we know good things are happening. Thanks for serving this up. Again, uh, you've expanded my horizons. I would have never guessed that uh, rum in an old-fashioned is a thing, and it should be. Try it next time you get an opportunity. We'll wrap things up. We'll close out Studio 4 after this. Don't go anywhere.